Yo, what's going on, everybody? This is Miss School. Today, I'm bringing you Monk Monday number 100. Thank you so much for anybody that has submitted their gameplay and watches these videos. Uh, for those of you who don't know what this is, pretty much you send any gameplay you have to this email right here. And I go over <clears throat> anything as far as your cooldowns, your teammates' cooldowns, Miss Weaver, Windwalker, any MMR, any Keystone level, anything, anything. 1400 MMR, 1700. 2800 it doesn't matter keystone doesn't matter you can give me a plus one it wouldn't matter again miss weaver or windwalker and yeah i these are my favorite types of videos to make so with that said today we have lucy drop who we have a keystone today which it's been a while since i've ever even done a keystone actually i don't think i've ever done it so i think i've done one or two but it's it's been a while so uh they say i would like some feedback on my miss weaver gameplay so far i feel like i could get keystone master with her linked is my first 15 this patch uh, I'm a shaman main, but I love Miss Weaver. I want to see how far I can get with her. Any advice on cooldown usage would be nice. Sometimes I feel like I use Fallen Order at really bad times. Anyway, thanks. Well, that is perfect. All right, so we got a 15 Plague Fall. Uh, fun fact, this was actually a Plague Fall. It was actually my first 20 I ever did. I ever timed was a Plague Fall in Season 1. So, um, yeah, let's, let's do it. It's, again, it's been a minute. So, I mean, if you play Wrestle Shaman, I'm sure you know, like, certain routes to do i normally i don't have a set group of people i play with but i think this week i did like a 20 uh plague fall and we just skipped this first uh group of trash let me i don't see the affixes um so i mean if it's a tyrannical week you could probably just run these guys over it seems like it is because these guys are kind of dying a little bit fast oh we do a four set as well which is really good uh, we're Panda. We have a forest that we're playing Ancient Teachings of the Monastery, and I'm assuming like Unity as well. So, and we are Venthyr. So, exact same setup. I use the same legendaries, same setup. Uh, as far as stats go, I would probably go with a, kind of a balance of crit with like a little bit of haste and versatility. I go crit verse mostly, but you kind of want some haste as well. The spell is perfect, doing a great job. Unfortunately, we get life cocoon, not unfortunately, but good life cocoon there to uh, deal with kind of some of the mechanics right now. Avoiding the plague rock damage is really uh, good too, because even if it's not fortified weak, that, that tornado still does a lot of damage. Uh, it is storming, but yeah, no, I don't think it's fortified. So I think it's tyrannical. And yeah, no, so far so good. I don't know if we use Fallen Order or not there. I really like the UI. And we are playing Chi Gi, which is nice too. So yeah, Chi Gi is really, really good. Chi Gi is a little weird to use though, because Chi Gi, you need to have, your, your, your tank needs to let you know, like give you a heads up, like, hey, I'm pulling a lot here. Because if you're in the middle of a pull and all of a sudden the you gg and you have to use like three globals to get enveloping mist it's a little bit weird but yeah no we're doing good here we're doing really good make sure you keep renewing mist up i know that uh it's a little bit weird but uh try to put it up on as many people as you can you're i would assume you're also playing rising mist as well for talent so what's really good is when you get to the new affix thing where you could summon you know kill the things you summon the guy and you get the cooldown reduction that it does affect your renewing mist so what you can do is you can have renewing mist up on two people beforehand and then when you kill it right here you can you'll have cooldown reduction on your renewing mist and then you can have renewing mist on like four or five people your whole team uh, at the same time and you keep extending those hots as much as you can um it's not for a very long time, but you can still extend them. And it gives you a ton of healing. So great job with Essence Find here, Forest Set here. You do so much healing with the Forest Set and PvE. It's actually crazy. I love it. Nothing really dies unless it's like a one shot. So good job avoiding the Forest Slam there. Normally I use Touch Death on these things. Yeah, I, same. I thought I thought that was an eye tracker this whole time. Nope, this is actually, a, I think it's a weak aura for your, your uh, mouse. I thought it was an eye tracker. So confused there. Okay, yeah, no, we're doing good. Like, we're doing fine. Um, Mystic touches on everything, even though I don't think it'll affect that much. Unless you're playing with a Feral. No, Demon Hunter, it might affect. It doesn't really affect Holy Pally or uh, Prop Pallies that much. But we're still doing really good. We're obviously, hopefully, going to avoid these. Unless we're taking these. Okay, we take them. Let's, maybe there's a skip I don't know about. But normally, we just skip these. But doing good essence font here make sure you know renewing mist a little trick also as well when it comes to healing your tank um put renewing mist on them and then also put enveloping mist on them and then you can keep extending that enveloping mist with your rising mist uh a lot of mists going out right now but uh that's pretty much what i learned i got a lot of feedback from people in my mythic plus videos because i'm decent you know i'm not insane but i'm pretty decent um but one thing i was struggling with was tank healing 
because I take so much damage in higher keystone levels. So as you go up from 15s, just know that try to put enveloping mist on your tank before a pull in a renewing mist and then keep extending that those hots with your your uh rising sun kick it's very very helpful that looked like revival there <laughs> looks like we're playing the rising sun revival uh conduit which is good actually is it yeah it might be right because you reduce the cooldown of it with uh with rising sun kicks so that's pretty decent that's really good and yeah okay there's your there's your renewing mist i was looking for there's your new i'm looking for fallen order but i actually can't find it i might be I think this is it. I don't think Miss Weavers have a too many cooldown. <laughs> so, I right, keep an eye on that one. I'll keep an eye on Fallen Order uses. Oh, my hair is it's crazy. All right. Yeah, Spinning Crate Kick here. Yeah, this this is normally a pretty doable pull as long as it's... I mean, it is Sanguine. So, be, be sure to have, like, uh, Ring of Peace or something for just to get him out of it. If we don't have it, which I don't think we do, you can also taunt if you're desperate. Like if you're really desperate and your tank is kind of struggling with kind of taking them out or they already use taunt, you could taunt too, but it doesn't seem like you have to. That was a really good pull. So good job. I don't see anything really. Oh no, that's touch of that. Where is fall? Is that fallen order? Okay, I see fallen order now. Okay. Yep, these aren't too bad. If it's not fortified weak, you could probably tank both of them. I've tank both just make sure you save this is where you want your druid to probably use typhoon and typhine ty typhine typhoon these guys back or what you could do is they could play mass entanglement and your druid can mass entangle the the uh the slime so that they can't get to this guy ring of peace is perfect though really good you could also follow that up with a leg sweep if they start to get close i hate when tanks do this they kind of you use ring of peace and then they go in a completely opposite direction of your ring of peace and then the mobs just go around it so it kind of sucks but you get used to it. Trust me. You get used to it. Touch of death if you have it. If not, it's fine. Yeah, it's fine. And we're just going to pull here. Yeah, this is good. This is good so far. This is clean. Good. Renewing Mist on two people. Again, you have another charge of Renewing Mist coming up. So you could just send on somebody. Get three Renewing Mists. And then you can keep extending it with the Rising Mist. It is a little weird to get used to, but you did a really good job of doing it. It took me, it took me quite a long time to actually get used to it. Mostly because in PvP, you don't really push in to do damage. So it's like a completely different play style. Uh, touch death. I think we have, we have Rop too. Yeah, I definitely could have Ropped. But if we avoid this, no one should die. Yeah, this is fine. Okay, perfect. And now, if it's Tyrannical, ideally, you're probably going to want to go get the Red Slime. I'm assuming you have a Necrolord. There should be someone in your group. Get Vi, no Lust. So, yeah, no... Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess uh, you're not going to go for the red slime. That's fine. That's fine. Uh, Vi should be enough with the haste. I think that was our revival. That's a good revival right there. We're also in our fourth set, which is good. That's new, normally what I do. The first, usually I just try to use revival as my first cooldown, like main major cooldown. It's, it's You get it with your Rising Sun Revival Conduit relatively fast if you're using a lot of damage so it seems pretty good we get haste here and uh oh, hello there we get haste uh in cap that you can in cap that slime i don't know or your warlock can banish it i'm assuming your warlock probably banished it uh let me see nice drop on those slimes uh massive entanglement from your druid that's not gonna last that long though unless you can kill this boss like hella fast so you could in-cap this. Your your Warlock can also banish it. Your Demon Hunter can also in-cap it. There's like a lot of options. I'm sure it's fine, but just letting you know. I'm sure you know, but... Usually it's just easy for the Warlock to banish it because nothing can break it. Like damage doesn't break it, which is nice. Yeah, normally I dispel myself. I really do. It's probably not that great of an idea to do because... Oh, oh, one thing also. <coughs> uh, for this mechanic, uh, this is actually a disease. So your prop pally can dispel this. I'm pretty sure your druid can dispel it too. I, I'm not confident. But I'm pretty sure that druids can dispel diseases. I know prop allies can. So uh, your prop pally should be able to dispel theirs. I think druids can dispel theirs. And then you can dispel yourself. So that's three dispels. That should make your life a little bit easier. But they're not making your life any easier. Which is too bad. <laughs> uh, we were fallen order. Uh, I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'm keeping my eye on the fallen order. Okay, we're using it now. Yeah, this is okay. Um, 
This is fine. It, it, normally on like single target. Okay, yeah, yeah, perfect. Yeah, normally for single target, what I try to do is I try to get two stacks of the... Um, oh, wait. Do you have Chi-G too? That looks like the other the other buff. That's weird. Uh, Ancient Chi-G the monastery. There you go. Okay, yeah, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, no, this is perfect. You're doing a great job. Yeah, no, really, really good. But you do have Chi-G up, yeah. A lot of the icons like are kind of similar, so... Yeah, it's fine. We're doing fine so far. Good in-cap there on the slime. And then just keep trying to do damage, trying to get the cooldown reduction on Fallen Order. Um... It's never going to be what it used to be where you can get it down to like a 45 second cooldown. But if you can get it to like a minute and a half cooldown, which is ideally what I try to do it, um, that's what I do. So that's pretty much, I mean, you, maybe you didn't need to use that at the end of that boss because the boss is pretty much going to die in these next couple of pulls. Unless you skip this, which I don't think you can. Um, Fallen Order might be better here because you could also spin and crane kick to... To avoid to uh reduce reduce the cooldown. Good to smell on that. Good job avoiding this. Good job. Get out of there. Perfect. Doing a great job. Again, so right here, this is a, this actually this this pull is a really good example. Right now, I know that we use life cocoon. Life cocoon is gonna go away. Um put an enveloping mist on your tank. ASAP. Like very, very important. Uh you have manatee. Don't be afraid to just use manatee enveloping mist and then do an essence font or like before this essence font here because yep life cocoon is great it's gonna go away and then we're gonna be left with no hots in our tank in the middle of a, in, in the middle of a pole and this is where i used to get tripped up a lot because i would just i feel like i would just run out of healing or i would start hard casting or i just wouldn't do damage but no right here great essence font throw an enveloping mist on your tank and keep extending it with rising sun kick uh during the during the pull yeah great enveloping mist now start doing damage Use your Rising Sun Kicks to keep extending it. I don't know where that enveloping mist just went. I think it expired, but keep extending it as much as you can. And it normally they it lasts the whole like pull. I don't really think there's many pulls that are that long where if you don't keep extending it, especially with Thunder Focus T, like you have Thunder Focus T that pull. Um, what you can do with Thunder Focus T is great. You can if you, especially if you're playing Rising Mist, you can Essence Font get the Ancient Teachings of the Monastery buff. Thunder Focus T, uh, before Thunder Focus T, put an Enveloping Mist on your tank. And then use Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick, like Tiger Palm Rising Sun Kick, to keep extending the hots. And it works beautifully. It took me a long time to like realize I could do that. But definitely do it on a tank. Um, I also do that sometimes when I'm playing with the DPS that <laughs> doesn't know the mechanics of like the dungeon. You'd be surprised how many people, like I do, because I, I pug a lot, that do Keystones at like 17 or 18, even 20s. <laughs> And these guys will get hit by mechanics. I'll throw an enveloping mist on them. And then you see, yeah, this is great. This is a beautiful enveloping mist here. You got the essence font. Got the four set. Beautiful enveloping mist here. Now, now start extending that hot. Start extending your enveloping mist and your renewing mist on, on the tank. Try to spell that. Yeah, you got it fast. And then that way throughout the, the pull, you have that enveloping mist. You might need to refresh it every, like, maybe once or twice. But at least the initial part of the pull... Where it's a little bit scary, you can you 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 know you have hot sub. So yeah, doing a great job so far though. Uh fallen orders up in five seconds. Which soul bind are okay, we are using Theodore. Okay. Um I'm interested to see I cause I don't see the T gang thrown out, so maybe Maybe we're not using the uh the T thing, but we'll see. We'll see. Uh we're doing good here. If you have Rop, try to rop him out of the sanguine. It's just really annoying. That's it. I, I just get so annoyed. There we go. Perfect. Doing good. Okay. Drop if you can. Or, ta or taunt. Yeah, or otherwise. Yeah, it's fine. Um, okay. We're doing good. Normally, this gets pulled with the other one. Kind of uh, the other. But this is fine, too. I don't see a problem so far. We have Chi-Gi, we have, we have um, Fallen Order. We just use Diffuse Magic. And I'm not seeing any problems here. We're doing pretty good. We're doing good. I don't know what I don't know what trinket this is. This looks like an unused trinket. I don't know what that is. So I, I've not seen that one. Renewing Mist, make sure you keep Renewing Mist on your tank. Beautiful. Yeah. Pretty good song. Oh, hello. I thought that was mine. 
Okay. That's it's fine. It's fine. Cool. Yeah. So this pull normally, like, even if it's not fortified, it's a scary pull because nor the groups that I've done, they pull this and then they pull the trash that's over here as well. I don't think you need to do that because you guys, your team killed the initial packs of trash. So I don't think you need the extra trash over here. Uh, but if they do, I would just use Fallen Order here. I think it's a pretty decently, yeah, like that trash right here. Pretty scary pull, but Spinning Crank here is good. Uh, this is Fallen Order too. Yeah, so we're not using the T. I'm interested. I'm going to go rogue here and just look up something real quick. Soulbind calculator. All right, so I kind of want to just see what Soulbind you're using because what I use is I, I'm Venthyr. And then I go Theodore, which you are playing Theodore because you're using the T. And then what I use is here. I go Wasteland Propriety for the 6% verse on me and 3% verse on my teammates. I think it's really good. I think it's really good. Maybe your token of appreciation or eh, I don't know if we're fine palettes and saying, but token of appreciation is decent. But I think uh, waste and propriety might be a little bit better. I know that you're using this one too. But yeah, I don't know if if you haven't tried it, give it a shot. It's really it's actually really decent defensive as well. I think it's it's 3% verse, so 3% additional damage to all your teammates too. So it's during lust or whatever. Uh, you could use it and I don't know. I think, it, I think it's pretty cool. It also some damage reduction as well, which is nice. Uh, but it doesn't, shouldn't matter that much. Um, yeah, this is a good, this is a good time. I normally use Fallen Order on this, but we're using Chi-G. Again, chi -G and Fallen Order pretty much use interchangeably. If there's a lot of mobs, I'll normally, like if it's Fortified Week or something, I'll definitely use Fallen Order first because again, they use, they do a lot of healing and with a lot of mobs, you get the cooldown reduction out of your Sinister Teachings Legendary. Uh, if it's single target, I'll normally use chi -Gi just because it doesn't matter how many people you hit with your spinning crane kick or, you know, your damaging spells. You're still only getting one stack of the buff at a time. They make your envelope miss instant. So, I guess for single target, if, if you have both available, single target for chi -Gi, AoE, use Fallen Order. You just want to get as much value to Sinister Teachings as you can because if you have Fallen Order up, nothing's normally going to die, right? Like, um... Definitely want to make sure those plague borers are close. Plague borers are close to the slime so that they can explode on them and deal damage to them. Care I don't know if this one's gonna be close enough. No, that one's not gonna be close. And we're kind of yeah, we're gonna get hit very <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that seems about right. That's just poor timing. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's funny. I think you could I don't know if you could stun that or not and you could get down, but oh we just use our forest set and rolled out of it, so I really it's like one of the most annoying things that a forest set is like it doesn't follow us. I wish I put a circle on us or it was just a buff. But yeah, we, we use our forest set and rolled out of it. So not that tough of a pull though. So you should be fine. Oh, poor guy. I think I think the same thing has happened to him. Demon Hunters, they just don't have enough mobility. They, just, they don't have enough mobility to get out of those uh, swirls. <laughs> nah, I'm sure. I'm sure he was like rude or something. So that's fine. Play Warrior should do some damage. Just make sure he's stacked up. Should be fine. Yeah, just make sure he's there. The other plague borer is kind of not close, so don't get that value out of it. But shouldn't be that bad. Res this guy, and we should be uh we should be good. These pulls, there is nothing really to note about these pulls. Uh, just make sure that you dispel the is it marrow root? I think on whoever if you're not playing. You're, I mean, if it's a root on the demon hunter, maybe if they're not in range. But besides that, just dispel the. Uh, the debuff that's on your tank right now. Actually, I'm, I'm pretty sure your tank can dispel it. I'm pretty sure that's a disease. So, um, ideally, you don't kill these slimes first because, you know, you don't want to, you know, accidentally get the red buff and not have it for the boss. But you guys are prone. Oh, it's tyrannical. Okay, it's tyrannical. Okay, it's tyrannical storming sanguine. Yeah, okay, that makes sense. And then I don't even know the name of the last. I really don't. I just know that they're the three orbs. <laughs> so, yeah. No, this, this is this is a very clean pull so far. I don't know. I don't think you should be struggling at all with getting Keystone Master and Mistweaver. I think you're doing a really great job of using Ancient Teachings of the Monastery. Uh, I'm still keeping an eye on Fallen Order, just, you know, make sure that it's efficient. But I think overall it's doing a really, really good job. Um, mostly for Keystone Master, especially on Mistweaver, it's just finding a group that can do damage. <laughs> Trust me, it's much easier said than done. Because normally Mistweavers, you get like the... 
bottom of the barrel, really. Like, <laughs> you're struggling. So, yeah, no, it sucks. Good job avoiding the breath. Uh, just avoid this. Doing a great job. Great job doing damage here. We got an essence spot again. Perfect. Avoid the breath. Avoid the frontal from the big guy. Great job. We're doing mist. We're doing mist. Use your essence. Use your rising sun kick in five seconds to extend these hots, and then you'll be you'll be fine. You'll be sitting fine and avoid the spikes here. Perfect. And then kill this big guy to get rid of him. Yeah, nice job. Good. I, Cocoon's fine there. Yep. Cool. Well done. Um, I forget if we have a Necrolord or not. So... I don't know if you guys are going to get red buff or not. You know? I, I don't know. The, the red buff gives like, I think it's 30 or 40%. Uh, 20? It gives you haste. It's like bloodlust, essentially. Or hero. So. Alright, so now we're going to pull the boss. I don't know if you need mana or not. No, you actually find kind of good on mana. Still kind of, it, It's still kind of a good idea to drink before the boss fight, but. Yeah, no, we're doing pretty good here. Miss, I, I normally just spin and crank kick, but Mystic Touch and everything, but you kind of have mostly casters, and I don't think prop alleys really affect, get affected by Mystic Touch that much, so. Yeah, definitely kill this thing. I, I save Touch of Death, especially if it's Tyrannical, I save Touch of Death for these big fellas right here. On this fight in particular, if you could coordinate with your tank and let your let your team know that you can taunt and CC the slime away from the boss and then the explosive one, I would do it. Um, but your Warlock can also banish the slime that spawns. So just keep that in mind. There's a lot of different ways you can deal with the slime that does the damage reduction. I obviously want to kill the uh, the main one. But this right here, the um, the congealed slime. Oh, that's your B-Res. Oh, no, it's not. No, it's not. Okay, that's just... Well, that's one of them, but not, not the only one. Um, what you could do is you could actually taunt this congealed slime. And then... Where's my mouse? Can, you can taunt this, bring it into the corner here, and then just in-cap it. And then it completely avoids everything. You know, you won't. You should have it dead by then. Your warlock can also uh, uh, banish it. So keep that in mind as well. Multiple different things you could do. You can also rob it away. There's a lot of things. There's, there's a, quite a few ways that are more efficient than probably killing it. So keep that in mind. But that, that's just something. I don't think you need to do that to time the 15, uh, especially since your DPS kind of kind of cranks. Like your DPS is pretty good. So. I don't think I don't think it's that big a deal for this dungeon, but just keep that in mind. You know, if you're doing higher plague falls, I learned that I didn't even know you could do that until I did it. I think one or two seasons ago, and someone was like, "Just, just taunt and cap it." And I said, "That's a really good idea." Um, but you do have a warlock, so you can banish it. I'm just rambling now. Uh, we haven't used fallen order yet. I don't think we've even had to. Um, haven't had to use Chigi. Don't think we've had to. This this fight really isn't too healing crazy. You just need to avoid the mechanics. On Tyrannical Weeks especially, it's basically just one-shot mechanics. Like, if you don't avoid that, you get... You don't die, but, I mean, you take a large amount of damage. And if you don't kill the explosive slime here, you all die. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, th that's the most damage right there is that debuff. Try to dispel it, too. Yeah, perfect. But, yeah, this 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 boss isn't, uh, isn't too bad. Even on Tyrannical Weeks. You can rop. You can leg sweep it. Um... But yeah, I think we just opted to kill it. It's fine. Doing a really good job of it too. Avoid the storming. Dispel, great dispel. We're doing a great job. Avoid that. So, <laughs> get thrown up in the air and completely avoid that. <laughs> All right, that's a good way to get rid of it or to avoid it. Uh, make sure you put renewing mist. You have two charges of renewing mist right now. I would definitely keep renewing mist up, especially on your tank. But like. Every time you, every, you always want Renewing Mist to be recharging. You play a Resto Shaman, right? So imagine Riptides. I don't know how often you Riptide on a Resto Shaman in PvE. Um, but imagine just having being at full, ch full max charges of Riptide. Uh, probably not ideal. Same thing with Renew Renewing Mist, except I think Renewing Mist is much more important because that's where your spread healing comes from. So uh, obviously put it on your tank and then put it on whoever's taking damage. Pretty much it. This is a really good Fallen Order pull. Yep. Beautiful. Great job. Yep. Yep. Spin. Spin a win. That's... <laughs> that's. I, no, I would stay in there. No, definitely stay in there to keep spinning. Any damage is good damage. And... And it helps reduce the cooldown with sensor teachings, so... 
do it. I'm not even kidding. Good job of wearing the slam. Uh, killing this thing is perfect. We're looking. We were looking for touch of death. I, touch of death is really good for killing these things. But like last in the previous season, you were able to kill like the things. I forget. I already forget their names. It was basically three minutes. You was one from another, and you had touch of death every time. But these are. Uh, this fix is a little bit uh, different, a little bit weird. Oh, I've never done this before, but I kind of like it. The middle one is a little bit scary. It's not fortified, but it's still like a lot of damage on such a small platform. Plus you risk actually being pulling one of the uh, slimes in the water. So I'm liking what I'm seeing here. Cocoon on yourself here. Good, good, perfect. SS Fawn here. Gonna pull to the right, yeah. I don't know if that got pulled or if it was already like planned to pull it, but yeah, I definitely want to kick that. Leg sweep if you can, uh, if we don't have any kicks, but Druid has a kick, Warlock has a kick. Yeah, Pally has, I think, two kicks. That's who convoked there. Okay. All right, that's a lot of damage. Alrighty. There's might be a slime, so be careful to your left. Uh, the amount of times I've almost like not timed a key because that. Dumb slime gets pulled is uh, too many. It's like four or five times too many. So, do a good job here. Uh, probably you could probably just pull this right here. Uh, you have plenty. It's 17 minutes left with two bosses and 77% trash done. Uh, you got plenty of time to just take these pulls pretty easy. Uh, this Hodge is really good. Ambush, ambush shouldn't do too much damage. Good kick on that. You want to kick in cap? Good leg sweep if you got it. Touch death. Nice in cap. Nice leg sweep. Beautiful leg sweep. Insane leg sweep. Great job by everybody there. Your in caps, Demon Hunters in caps, Hodges. Great. Um, on Fortified Week, this is normally a pretty decent pull for Sinister Teachings. Sinister Teachings fall in order. Uh, Chigi's fine too. But there is some like AoE heal bulwark of Maldrax right here. You can get in capped or ropped if you have it. Um, but I think we use Shadow Fury there and got rid of it. So that's perfect. Uh, Enveloping Mist, just throw it on your tank normally. And then again, use your rising sun kicks here. Or you have in five seconds to keep extending that right you know, that essence that uh enveloping mist. It's really, really good. You can just drop to get rid of the bulwark. And we should have No no, it's down. Okay. No, we're good. Life cocoon gets used. It's fine. Normally this next boss. Oh, that's why we need to cancel rollback. I don't know if we pulled that back. I don't know if we pulled those. That's crazy. You were, yeah, no, we definitely did. All right, that's fine. We've diffu we've diffused magic. We got leg sweep, baby. We got we're we're chilling right now. We're chilling. Good spinning crane kick. Oh my god, this song's a little bit too much for me. Okay. Oh hello. Oh my god, they're back. <laughs> I actually don't have nameplates for like these little minion things, so I don't. I don't actually know how we spawn, but that's a, that's a lot. A good massive entanglement. Careful. Again, uh, these pulls like this, this is enveloping mist right here. Uh, I know we can't extend it because our rising sun kicks down, but I would throw another enveloping mist here, <clears throat> and then you have thunder focus T, and you could use that to get two enveloping two rising sun kicks and keep extending those hots on your tank, and then SS Fawn, whoever you know, it's on. <clears throat> this is fun. It's good. Ran out. Oh, okay. Okay. I was going to say. Force expired. You're chilling. You're good. You're good. All right. Are we? Okay. We're doing good. These are good pulls. These are perfect. <clears throat> Sorry. Still sick. So. Talking is kind of annoying. This is good. We're doing great. God damn, you got you honestly you guys are killing it. Okay. This boss. Again, I'm sure you know the mechanics. Uh I guess you go <clears throat> go for the cooldown reduction one. You could also get haste two. You guys don't really have a hero, so it's probably best to get the haste one. Unless you have drums. <clears throat> but that's on a cooldown, so you can't use it. Solidarity uh, prey. Just yeah, leave your team. <clears throat> don't stay out there for too long. You have four seconds on the debuff. Three, two, one. Oh, okay. You don't have to leave that early. But this one, this fight, really, honestly, pretty good for Mistweaver. It's mostly single target. And then when you they round up all of these uh, little mobs right here, you can actually leg sweep them. All right, we got five seconds on it. Get it. Nice, nice. 
Perfect. You could leg sweep these. They're silenced by your prop alley right now. Your warlock is a little <clears throat> a little far away there. Holy cow. But yeah, great job. Great AoE damage. Great healing here. Essence font gets used. Um, the, again, you always want to look for ways to reduce the cooldown of Fallen Order. So the next time, the, these right here, just use Fallen Order and Spinning Crane Kick. <clears throat> So right now, what I would do is I would use your Fallen Order. We Revival. I would just use Fallen Order here. Yep, perfect, perfect. Give them time to ramp up and then start spinning. Yep, beautiful. Great job. Now you got Enveloping Mist on the, your uh, Boomy out there. Good job. Your Demon Heart gets out. Perfect, great. And now you are you have your little Fallen Order team just healing and you're healing away and you have your forest set soon boom there it is now you can extend these hots you have thunder focus t active use your rising sun kick to extend your hots and you'll be perfect like no one should be in any danger as long as fallen orders up uh we don't have any cooldowns but i think that's okay we used unending resolve your warlock used unending resolve there which is great and uh yeah, doing pretty, pretty good. I mean, I think I, well, I think I got the mechanic mixed up. Solidary Prey is that, that debuff, right? Yeah, that's my fault. Usually, I really don't know the name mechanics. I just know I just, I, usually I just know what I need to avoid. Um, Essence Font here is good. And then Touch Death. Again, Touch Death is a little weird on bosses, but we do get wrapped, so they got to break you out. Try to spell debuff, which is great. Boomy's gonna use bark skin. Perfect. See, this is see this is what you need. Like every healer needs a team like that can just rotate cooldowns like this. You know, if they get a mechanic, they use a cooldown. I know it, it blows a lot of people's minds, but you know, if, if you get targeted by a mechanic, you should probably use a cooldown. You know, somehow I get blamed for it. I don't know. How do I get blamed? I don't know. I'm the healer. <laughs> Uh, so normally if you have a Necrolord, you can go to the right there and get a red slime. And it gives you, I think, all the buffs, but I'm assuming you don't have one. So. Yeah, the, the these guys aren't too bad. Your Warlock actually just decimated those guys. So, um, I'm sure you know, ideally you want to skip. Yep, perfect, perfect. Uh, you are Vent there, so you can Dwarf Shadows. Okay. You can Dwarf Shadows across too, you know, if you want to get fancy. Dwarf Shadows doesn't really get used in PvE, I feel like, enough, you know? Kind of sucks. Uh, Renewing Mist, yeah. Uh, yeah, this is good. Again, you have two charges of Renewing Mist. I would, yep, use it again. Use it on somebody. Always want it recharging constantly. You don't ever want to have two charges. Because, you again, I've said a lot. You can keep extending these hots with Rising Mist throughout the entire dungeon. So, especially if you get the uh, cooldown reduction fella. You, again, you get all those renewing misses. So, yeah, we're doing a pretty good job. Pulled it right. Good drop to get out of the Sanguine. Beautiful. Well done. Kill this guy, and you just get the last pull in. Should have enough. You should, yeah. You should have more than enough trash, too. I'm I'm used to skipping the first, that entire first room, skipping to the first boss, and then pulling all the other trash, essentially, uh, after the first boss. But this works, too. This is pretty good. This is pretty good. I like the skip in the uh, before the third boss. That small platform is always so annoying. It stresses me out, I swear. So this last boss can get kind of annoying. It's really hard to see everything when you have this like urn guy or whoever, like whichever one you summon in like in front of your face. So just be what the hell was that? Oh, it must have been the orb thing. I was like, what? What's trying to pull you right now? Uh, we're doing good, actually. No, I don't think we two chested, but it's pretty close to a two chest. So this is pretty impressive. It took me quite a few. It took me quite a few to get like 15 cents on my Miss Weaver. But yeah, we have enough trash. This will this will wrap. I oh, actually it's already done. Yeah, I think this. I don't know how much this one gives, but it gives a good amount. I thought it was like eight, but it could be five. So all right. Uh, we don't need mana, so we're just going to go ahead and just straight pull, pull this boss. Good healing here. Get uh, Renewing Mist out. Perfect. And it looks like we're going for which one? Cooldown Reduction? Or we want Haste? We're going for Haste. Nope. Okay. <laughs> I think we're going after... That's kind of a weird one. And then you want... Yes, perfect. Everyone to, to go over here because it's going to completely avoid the spines. The biggest thing is this Infectious Rain. You need to hold your Revival as long as you can. And your force set. That's what you need to do for this. Uh, and your fallen order. So use your manatee. 
save your thunder focus t for yeah i was so i guess the nikes are pretty good the speed's pretty good versus um save your four set for the infectious rain because you need that extra healing to kind of heal through it and it's just really good to keep in mind especially when you do higher keystone like higher um plague falls like for beautiful four set beautiful essence font here get some damage going out right now looking great and then try to dispel something diffuse magic actually doesn't dispel it but you can see the tank did the tank dispel his or did you dispel his the tank can dispel i'm pretty sure druid can too so good job good job avoiding avoid avoid it's a little close i, I swear latency is crazy on this fight i've died while completely avoiding it you dps doing a decent job of killing these ads if they get to you they just do a ton of damage especially on tyrannical avoid perfect avoid again great job Doing good. Make again. You're because you're on the move. So there's a few things you can do for like instant healing. Renewing mist is your first one. Essence font is another one. If you're taking damage, you could also use expel harm. And I know it's not really used that often, but I love it. I love expel harm. So if you're taking damage and you're on the run, use it for a quick instant heal. If you and somebody else is taking damage, use your soothing mist to heal them with it, and then you get healed as well. So keep that in mind. Oh, we're doing a good job. This convoke to get some damage out. Some, it's actually a ton of damage out. Um, Essence font here, or enveloping mist is great there. You can extend it now with your rising sun kicks when you have it. Great job extending it there. Avoid the slimes. Oh, you drew it a warlock. Oh my god, no way. Oh my god, I thought they were both gonna die there. I really did. Holy cow, we don't have revival, so we're on that struggle bus. We're actually spinning crane kick, but yeah, great. Great job with Fallen Order. Perfect job. They were going to heal. Great job with Spinning Cray Kick in there. You can also do some single target damage here with Rising Sun Kick to extend the dots. So Or Huts. Right here is, a, right here is perfect. You see, Enveloping Mist. Renewing Mist on everybody. Thunder Focus T, Rising Sun Kick to extend all these Huts. And it, that's where the build is so good. Because you can get all these Huts out with your little mini, mini helpers. And you can keep use, use those hots to keep uh, extending the healing. And yeah, Thunder Focus T also enables you to use it a lot more. So it's pretty good. Um, we use our four set. It's pretty good. Essence font here. And just do damage if you can. I think it's going to go. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's what? Phase two or whatever. Three. Um, phase two. She goes underground. I don't even think they're phases. Um, yeah, avoid. Yeah, I mean. You know, just avoid the spines. Oh my god, I can't blop. Your warlock is so close to dying like three times now. <laughs> it's actually like, stressing me out. Holy cow. All right, good tigers last here. Good job. Great, 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 great. Perfect, man. Life cocoon is fine there. Uh, this should be it. If we have hero, we have drums. This is where you press it and uh, kill this, kill this boss. Right here, that's our four set with Infectious Rain, looking good. We have Revival on 20, so we probably won't be getting it back anytime soon. Uh, I don't see where our Dispel is. We have Fortifying Brew as well. So hold on to your Fortifying Brew and Diffuse Magic until the next Infectious Rain. And then ignore yourself and heal your teammates. That's that's what I do. When I use when there's mechanics like that are AoE damage and uh, it affects everybody, I'll normally use a defensive cooldown. Avoid healing. Like right now, just use Fortifying Brew. Okay, Revival. All right. Well, you, got, you killed it. But what I would say, if it went on a little longer, I would use Fortifying Brew to like heal myself. Or like have a damage reduction on myself. And then um heal everybody else but is there any good loot here Ooh, ooh, nice all right the, hey gloves ain't bad overall i did not see much wrong with the dungeon you did a great job of rotating cooldowns fallen order can seem a little weird on tyrannical weeks because obviously the trash is relatively easy but you always you also want to have it for the boss fight so it's i know but there's also big pulls to reduce the cooldown on it so it's a little weird but no, overall, really good Fallen Order. I didn't. I don't think you really wasted Fallen Order that much. I know I said it during the the uh, dungeon, but GG really good for single target. Like ideally, I use GG for single target damage just because you can get multiple stacks really fast, and spinning crane kick doesn't affect how many stacks you get. And then Fallen Order is really good for big AOE pulls because you get more value out of the sinister teachings, which reduces the cooldown on it, which again is really really good. Um, make sure you know you have Renewing Mist here. Make sure you use your Renewing Mist as often as you can. I like I can't stress enough. It's a lot of healing. You can keep extending your hots with it. So just Renewing Mist. And then, you, you know, you kill the cooldown reduction. You get two more Renewing Mist charges. And then you use those. And then you use your Rising Mist with Thunder Focus T and Rising Zone Kick to keep extending those hots. Uh, one thing, 
that I also struggled with was tank damage because there are certain mechanics that either tanks can't avoid or they just take a ton of damage. Uh, before a pull, make sure you put Enveloping Mist on your tank. And then what you can do is you can Essence Font and then use your Thunder Focus T Rising Sun Kick to keep extending your hots while the pull is still going on. And that's the same for boss fights too. And this way, you know, you have your strong hots on your tank. And then if you really need to hard cast some heals, you can, but you know Enveloping Mist is going to be ticking the whole time. That's basically your best hot. So, uh, overall, no, I, pff, it's a really great dungeon. I, you shouldn't have any problems getting Keystone Master at all. If you have any questions at all, uh, please let me know. I'm more than happy to answer questions, but uh, that's it for me. Hope this was helpful for you or anyone watching. Hope everyone enjoyed the video and see you later.